What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Do Perfect Fancast. I'm Noah. I'm Asher. And today we have a review of Overtime 26 from Dude Perfect. Yes, this is going to be an amazing episode. Listen all the way through because we're going to be sharing some news and having some fun stuff. So let's dive right in to Overtime 26. Noah, what was the first segment? Uh, The first segment was actually not a, a true segment, but it started with Dude Perfect announcing their second ever book, Dude Perfect, 101 Tricks, Tips, and Cool Stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Great book. It's coming out June 22nd. Make sure you go pre-order yours now so you can get it in time. Yeah, we talked about it um, a few months ago on an episode, but yes, now they officially announced it. So yes, go get it. Go get it now. And we will do a book club in June talking about that book. So yes. Yes. Um, then the first... Uh, official segment was the continuation of Get Crafty. Um, Sparky, I guess, organized a uh, helicopter, actual actual helicopter drop for the eggs, or I guess for the egg contraption things. But yes, um, the dudes made no adjustments to their egg things, and they went up in a plane or a helicopter, dropped it out, um, and had a fun time. Noah, who won this Get Crafty? The winner of this of, of this Get Crafty, maybe the maybe the biggest Get Crafty win ever, mm-hmm. was from the Purple Hoser himself, Garrett Hilbert. Boom. Yes, definitely super surprising. I thought that Corey yeah. would, but uh, his balloon popped, so sad. Yeah. Um, he but yeah. Filled him up with helium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Even more helium. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think definitely surprising. I did not see Garrett winning. Um, I didn't even see that they would actually have a helicopter. Uh, I thought it would just be like a tall building or something like that. But yes, uh, they actually got a helicopter. Congrats on the purple hoser for the dub. But yes, now on to the next segment. Cool, not cool. Start off with Garrett, um, with his, uh, sushi slash chip finger glove thingies um a way to kind of you know uh grab chips sushi you know kind of messy stuff with your fingers and not get them dirty um no what do you think about this product i would actually give it a not cool because in my opinion the one of the best part about the messy foods is licking the food off your fingers it's so good cheetos as garrett used the Cheeto dust is like an extra, it's like five extra Cheetos. Mm-hmm. Well, just with the dust. Yeah, that's that's disgusting. And you just lost three Noah fans. You know, they're now no, on my but team. But I just gained 500. <laughs> okay. Like yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I I would say that uh, it's just not. I do not oh. like having messy stuff. I feel like the, the presentation was good. The kind of, it just the um, design was kind of weird. I would say like maybe having like gloves. You know, if they're like latex gloves, that would be better. But, you but know? people have latex that would be Asher. Yeah, maybe like another type of glove. Deer but skin. Yeah, yeah, I would say I would give this a cool, but not like, I guess, uh, kind of bringing light to an issue that I didn't even realize. But I feel like if they were, if they were to like get another product to help with this, then that would definitely um, help. But yeah, Noah, what was the next person? The next person was Tyler Nathan Tony. Mm-hmm. Uh, he chose the weather ball, which was like a little ball that told the weather kind of. Mm-hmm. If so, if the water was clear, the sky was clear. Yeah, and all yeah. That stuff. and it was. So mm-hmm. I feel like I, I could have been fake. Um, I would say I would err on the side of fake because then you could just say like, "Oh, he saw the weather before beforehand." And then like went and like yeah. oh it's clear and stuff like that. The next person is Corey uh, with the cereal cup. So pretty much it's a bowl of cereal but in a cup. So your you know your cereal doesn't get all soggy and your milk stays nice and regular milky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, then the next person was Kobe with the I guess continuation of his product in Overtime Twenty One, which was the piece in uh, head. Thingy, I don't know. Um, 
but he had one for the hand instead of the he head thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the correct word. Um, yeah, he had peace in a hand or peace hand thing. Uh, I would just like to say uh, I'm on Team Kobe, but I feel like it's just kind yeah. of. I don't know. I just did not like it. Um, I didn't like the other one. Didn't like this one. Just kind of hard, um, you know, having to deal with this hate and ridicule. The final person is Cody Jones. Uh, he did Metal Signs, so it's like a it's like a movie poster, but it's metal, so it's like one of those metal signs. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, they attached magnets, so you don't have to put holes in your walls. Great yeah, idea, definitely. by the way, because mm -hmm. I have we have I think everybody has at least one hole where something was hung up. But it's still there because nothing, because we were like, nah, it's fine there. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so that was wheel, or no, not wheel. That was cool, not cool. Um, now, halftime, our halftime. We got some news. We got a trailer park, as you should say, um, for us, for the Dude Perfect fan cast. So, our first news in this trailer park is um, we just made a new series type thing um, on Spartan Studios, our YouTube channel, and we made a TikTok all about us, Noah and I, sharing our top five favorite of a certain thing. If you remember, if you're an OG fan, you remember back on Instagram, we were doing like our top five um, stuff like that in the summer, but we decided to bring it back in video form so you could see us share our top five. Yeah. Of a you actually thing. see our faces talking. Yeah, yeah. So go uh, follow us on Instagram, subscribe on YouTube. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a fun time. Uh, so the next one is maybe the biggest, mm -hmm. uh, biggest news yet that we have put out. So as you guys know, we have an Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are, we are doing a giveaway on our Instagram. But the one thing is, once we get to a thousand followers on Instagram, we will be doing that giveaway. Yeah. So if you're not, if you are listening to this, go follow us on Instagram. Link in the description below. So it's super easy. Just click the link mm -hmm. and go follow us. And once we get to a thousand followers, we will be doing a big giveaway. We're not telling you exactly what it is yet, but I'm telling you right now, it is going to be amazing. So guys, we have a huge announcement that game time. Our series that we did last year, we're bringing it back. We're doing 11 weeks of Dude Perfect Trivia. So starting May 7th to July 16th, we're going to do each week a Dude Perfect Trivia on a Dude Perfect topic. You're going to want to listen every week from May to July. So the next segment on Dude Perfect Overtime 26 is uh, a new segment. It's called Trailer Park, where pretty much Dude Perfect shares news and stuff like that, pretty much showing a trailer of their new projects and videos and all that. Um, first edition. Noah, do you think that they're going to bring this back sometime soon? Uh, I don't think they will. I think for big things, but I don't think it will be, you know, anything regular. Mm -hmm. I, But I, I definitely think... If anything big happens, yes, they'll bring it back. But I think it's going to be one of those, like, one-off things. Yeah, definitely. Um, but, yes, this week, or I guess this time, they share news of Bucket List number two. Noah, what did you think of the Bucket List number two trailer? I'm super excited. It hyped me up so much. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be a great Bucket List. I think it's going to be the second longest Dude Perfect video behind the backstage pass mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be long um predictions on the time i'm i'm saying around an hour i'm thinking that that would be wow yeah what do you I'm, think i'm i'm saying around 45 minutes okay i cool. really i think they have so much content that it's gonna take that long mm -hmm. yeah definitely but um it's gonna be fun uh yes bucket list number two premiering may 17th um, and then their next video is a music video called Pet Peeves. Um, they shared a one second clip from that. Um, and yes, Pet Peeves next video from Dude Perfect. The final segment was one of the best segments out there. Wheel, unfortunate. Uh, the person who was picked was Kobe. Uh, and we got, it, it was a sad day. It was a mm -hmm. sad day for Ned Forrester fans. Oh, let's have a quick moment of silence 
for Ned because uh, he lost his hair. Because it was it's always been fake. Mm-hmm. We've never known the real Golden Boy Ned Forrester. He's always had long black hair. Yeah. yeah. And I gotta say, kind of a vibe. <laughs> yeah, I, I I wonder uh, next Wheel Unfortunate if he's gonna like, have um like either the orange hair or the regular hair. Because I mean, since we've known Ned Forrester, he's always had uh, orange yeah. hair. So pretty surprising. But yes, Kobe was selected. His punishment was he has to be in a fat suit in the next battle. So he put it on this overtime to show what it's going to look like. But then next battle, I'm guessing the video after Bucket List 2 um, is going to feature Chubby Kobe, um, where Kobe is in a fat suit. Um, I'd like to say I think that's going to be one of my favorite um, battles. I know that maybe Kobe... I would say, honestly, I think the odds of Kobe winning in a fat suit now went up than just regular Kobe. Yeah, because he he did win sumo wrestling battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He did have a big suit on. But I also think, depending on the video, if it's an endurance video, I don't think he definitely won't make it. Mm, I don't know. I think there's going to be more uh, fans on the... uh, the dubby uh no the chubby dubby yeah chubby dubby um i'm thinking that there's going to be a lot of i'm thinking that all the dudes will want kobe to win just so that the chubby dubby will i think i i would love to see that but i think depending on the video Mm -hmm, definitely but yes um that's the overtime noah what do you think of it I really enjoyed this overtime. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was great uh, creativity, nine out of ten. Some great segments. Mm-hmm. Uh, execution, nine point five out of ten. I thought the, you know, the way they did it, you know, with Trail Park, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Uh, so overall, I would probably give this video a nine point five. Nice. Um, I'd say I didn't love this. I think it was a solid video. Um, just because like one. Uh, you know, we didn't get any really, we only got one second of the music video. I just can't wait for the music video, honestly. Yeah. Pat Peeves is going to be amazing. Um, I think the Bucket List 2 trailer was amazing and the get, uh, the Get Crafty was great. I think solid segments, not the best. Um, and just, I guess I'm sad that the fact of that, like the Wheel Unfortunate is going to be carried on into another video instead of just like right then. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'd say for creativity, I'd say nine, but then execution and overall score, 8.5. So, yes. Wow. Um, yeah, so that's us. Guys, if you are not subscribed to the Matthias Fancast, the our other podcast I run by myself, we literally gained, I think, uh, we gained 100 subscribers literally last week. Hey, go hit that sub button. It's free. Uh, and you can always unsubscribe if you want to. Go follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok too. Signing off for now. Pound, Pound it. Pound it. Noggin. noggin. See, See ya. ya. Good night. <laughs>